What's up guys, it's Bobby Buckets and I'm back for another video. In this video, I'll be going over the best guard build in NBA 2K21. I know you guys have probably seen some videos, but this is how I made my guard and also what I think um, is the meta for guards in NBA 2K21. Um, so before we get into it, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you haven't already, go to beanbagbuckets.com, check out the Beanbag Bucket game and also the B3 Blitz game. And if you want to order a game, use the promo code BBuckets20 for free shipping. Um, so let's jump right into it. All right, so like I said, this is going to be a guard build. Um, I'm making it as shooting guard because you get more badges. Also, how I'm making this build, I made it so I can play um, secondary ball handler slash sharp for uh, pro-am and stuff like that, but also be able to play point guard whenever I play park, rec, or, you know, just in any situation. Um, so like I said, I'm making this a shooting guard. Um, now the pie chart, what is it going to be? It's going to be a yellow green. Um, I know some people have been going for like sharps and stuff, been going mainly green, but the main reason for this is one, to have a higher ball handling. So you need an 85 ball handling to have um, pro dribble moves, which is very key this year. Um, it used to be only 70, now it's 85. So that's the main reason. And you get Hall of Fame playmaking and shooting badges on this pie chart. Um, Physical chart, I'm going to the top, you're a guard. This, I think all guards uh, should go with the top one, the speed one. Um, and I, so when I'm making this build, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna max my mid-range, max my three-pointer, max my free throw, put my post fade up until I get 25 shooting badges. So that's gonna be 78 um, right there. You're gonna have 25 shooting badges on this with Hall of Fame, that's more than enough. Um, with playmaking, I'm maxing my pass accuracy, maxing my ball handling. And then I'm putting my post moves up to get 22 playmaking badges. Now, um, further down the line, you'll see you can go less if you don't um, want this many playmaking. But if you want 22, this is how you do it. Now, defense. Now, since I'm playing secondary, I wanted to make sure that I get the most defensive badges. Because on in the pro-am scene, if you're playing secondary, you usually guard corner. So you're going to need defensive badges. So um, what I do, I max all uh, almost everything, really, um, on here. So you can get 10 defensive badges. Now I'm gonna lower it some. Um, you can lower your interior defense some and also offensive rebounding a little bit and it, you'll have 32 uh, attribute points left. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just max out my driving dunk to what I can do. So that's gonna give me to uh, 10 defensive badges, 22 play making, 25 shooting, one finishing. Now, if you want less, um, defensive badges then all you got to do you want to lower your interior defense lower your block and also lower your offensive rebound you'll still get six um defense slash rebounding if you want finishing obviously you can max uh driving dunk driving layup and close shot and you'll have better attributes now if you want finishing badges what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to lower your post moves get less playmaking um lower some of your shooting which you want to do post fade um you can do that all the way down you have 21 shooting still and then put this up and you get four finishing badges. And if you want even more, you can lower this a little bit and lower your free throw a little bit and you can get five. So this is if you want a more balanced build. Now, this is not how I made mine. So like I said, this is how I made my build though um, with the 1, 25, 22, 10 right here. Um, now for your body to shape, you can go kind of whatever. I like, I just go define, um, doesn't really matter. Now, I made mine six, four, because I want 85 ball handling off rip. If you go 6'5", you're gonna have to wait until you level up a little bit to get to that 85, um, or you can go minimum wingspan. If you're playing guard primarily, you can go even lower, and obviously the lower you go, the higher your ball handling is. A lot of people go like 6'2", or 6'1", because they want a higher ball handling. But I go 6'4", secondary, but you can also have pro dribble moves off rip. Um, weight wise, I go, everyone usually goes uh, the Lowest weight, but I just go 178 because you don't lose, um, it's, I don't know, three pounds heavier and you don't lose any speed acceleration. It's still gonna be the same if you went minimum. So I go 178. Wingspan now, you can go max, but the thing is you're gonna lose your ball control. So what I do, I go two below and you still have the 85 ball handling that you need to get the pro dribble moves. Um, you end up having a 63 driving dunk uh, and you only lose 200 three pointers, so you have an 85. Um, with longer wingspan to play passing lanes and stuff like that badges you can see playmaking shot creator spot up or sharp takeover and then lockdown i go with the sharp takeover i think that's the best uh takeover for guards this year um, and as you can see it's going to be the same build that you've seen by a lot of people uh the playmaking shot creator that everyone's been running you see it every build but there's also different ways um that 
to make it that's going to be different even though it's going to have the same name all right so i'm going to show you guys the badges that i would use on this build um, like i said you're going to get a lot more you can sacrifice um different badges stuff like that um and you're still going to get dunked even though it only has one finishing um so with the finishing badges i would go contact finisher um or you can do like a consistent or a pro touch whatever but i would go contact if you only have one if you do the other one obviously you're gonna have more you can low higher your contact um with this now i'm going hall of fame catch and shoot because um more as a secondary most of the time hot zone hunter definitely range extender definitely green machine definitely going hall of fame dead eye hall of fame that leaves you with five i would go difficult shots because the fades in this game are really op this year um you get a lot of good animations uh or whites going a lot and uh you're just going to be able to shoot um fades really good this year i don't know why but that's how they made it and then you have one left um you can kind of go a lot of different ways with this um corner specialist is good if you shoot fades and stuff like that but you can also go flexible um and also volume shooter or steady shooter um if you shoot a lot of contested so i would just go steady five for this one just in case you shoot contested shots playmaking now um in prime i would definitely run hall of fame floor general um hall of fame quick first step um are the main ones handles for days hall of fame and you have 10 at this point stop and go hall of fame is going to help you stop um on like the break and stuff or when you hit lt it's going to make you get faster animations bronze unpluckable bronze bailout and then you still have four you can kind of this point it's kind of um whatever you want i would maybe go like a silver needle threader and maybe like a silver dimer um other ones that you can go with if they patch it is like ankle breaker they're going to patch um tight handles and space crater they might become better so you'll be able to create more separation off the dribble but right now those badges are kind of useless so those are what i would go for now and now the 10 defensive i would definitely go gold interceptor if you're playing corner defense um you're going to need interceptor to play lanes um box clamps I like pickpocket to help um, defensively. You know, you're going to be playing uh, off ball and stuff. You can pinch and stuff. You're going to be fast. Now, you can go pick, pick dodger if you want to guard ball with this build. You have 10. Um, but for me, I wouldn't probably be guarding ball a lot. I would go bronze chase down, and then you can up. At this point, I would either go two more on box and one on intimidator. Um, just if you feel like you need to box out of the corner, or you can go lower, higher intimidator. Um, it's all up to you at this point, it's all preference. Um, but like I said, with 10 defense badges, you're gonna have a lot. If you do less, I think the main ones you gotta worry about is interceptor, um, box, and clamps if you're guarding corner, if you only did the sixth one with more finishing. Um, so yeah, this is a guard build I made. Um, gonna have a lot of defensive badges out the corner, which is good when you're playing defense. You're still gonna be able to get dunked on this build with one finishing badge. Um, I've seen builds with it. And like I said, 25 shooting is more than enough 22 play makes more than enough but you're getting the most badges out of this build so in the comments let me know what you think about this build let me know if you have any questions and i hope to see you guys in the next one